What's up, Duga Dreamers? Mathers here, aka Duga Dreams. Today we are going over our Delta Battle League's Week 2 battle versus Super LP Bro and the Chicago Cloisters. First of all, I'm going to start off by saying I apologize. I'm very tired. I, it's coming. This is like Thanksgiving was yesterday, and I've been working every day except Thanksgiving, and I just got back from work like an hour ago, and I also have to go into work tomorrow morning. I'm just tired <laughs> and I also had so I had to like quickly come home from work eat dinner get on here finish up my team and then uh, well, we're gonna start this battle in just a minute uh, but let me quickly run over this team we're bringing in a choice scarf Healy list just because it puts in a lot of work uh, choice scarf should outspeed pretty much everything on his team I think even if he scarfs like it outspeeds anything that he scarfs on his team I believe could be wrong, uh, but it also puts in a lot of work. He has a lot of water types and stuff on this team. I also put Grass Knot over Surf just because it let me hit the water types as well as his Dawn Fan more than Surf would. Um, also have Mavis, the Noivern, Life Orb, a Taunt set this time. Uh, Flamethrower basically just lets me hit uh, things like Ridge of Steel and Bisharp on the Switch. Um, we have Bortastic, Choice Banded this time, going to Flare Blitz, Super Power Wild Charge, Iron Head. Basically just going with these moves because of course Wild Charge is great because he's got a lot of water types that I really don't want him using up. Uh, particularly Slowbro and Mega Gyarados are on my mind. Um, Iron Head is also there for Gardevoir, so I can try to catch that if I, I don't know. But really my main thing to Gardevoir is going to be my Mega Scizor here. Swords Dance, Bullet Punch, Bug Pite, and Roost. Just for, Roost is just for longevity. And uh, Swords Dance, Bullet Punch, Bug Bite. This thing kind of takes on a lot of the things that my other Pokemon so far haven't really been able to take on, such as like Amoongus. Um, Amoongus, what else? Let me, I have it up. Hold on. <laughs> takes on things like Amoongus, uh, Gardevoir, Latios, stuff like that. Uh, takes those things on, which is something I could really use against those. Those are a lot of threatening Pokemon. Also bring in a Soul Vest Azumarill just because I need a little bit more bulk, a little more special defensive bulk, particularly on this team, as well as priority Aqua Jet is always good to have. So I had to go with knockoff just because uh, it's either basically either superpower or knockoff, and I figured uh, knockoff is something good to have. Don't have it on the team yet. I already have superpower up here and that's stab as well, so I figure knockoff will be good to have. Uh, we have of course we have our physically defensive Hippodon, a hip hop. Earthquake, Slack Off, Toxic, and Stealth Rock. Toxic is there, just help me out with Slow Bro. Uh, make a Gyarados if it decides it wants to start setting up, I can put it on a timer. Um, other things. Uh, Stealth Rock also just. I was really debating whether I wanted to go with Stealth Rock or not. Uh, I did. I originally had a defensive Scizor with Defog, and I wasn't going to put Stealth Rock because, like, what's the point of running Defog if you have put, also have Stealth Rocks? But then I realized Scizor actually puts in a lot of work offensively, so I decided to. I'll put the stealth rocks on and just call it a day. Anywho, so that does leave us with no hazard control, but that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Does he, what does he have for Don Fine and Don of course? Uh, anyway, that's probably him. <sighs> Alright. So I will pause until we get the battle going, guys. We will be right back. What's up, guys? We're back. Uh, Still haven't heard back from Super LP, bro. I'm waiting for like five minutes now. But while I was waiting, I decided to get something done. I put the Delta Battle League Boston Weasels team picture up on Showdown. There are a few Pokemon here that we had to drop, unfortunately, like Bear Tick. Uh, you can see Stoutland in the back there. He's between the credits and watch a battle button. And who else did we drop? Did I drop right period? Because if I did, that was a mistake. <laughs> uh, but anyway, guys, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just bored waiting for Super Bowl Period to get back to me. I think I dropped right period here. Ooh, is that it? Nope. That's just more tweets. I'm gonna switch over to notifications. Uh, you know what? Let me check. I'm pretty, uh, did I drop right period? I guess I did have. Boot tops as well, so that's like a big f four times we missed the water and grass. The man right here is so awesome. <laughs> I need to use boot tops soon, too. 
make it make it useful. So I don't feel bad about dropping right here as much. Eridon is in here. Yeah, I guess I did. Pick one new year Pokemon. It's not even my only new pick. Oh, he like this. The two new year picks. What's going on here? Slacking. Slacking on the Delta Battle League info. <laughs> uh, Some probably just got confused and thought Noivern was RU, but they did ban it out of RU. So it is technically UU. It is BL2. I believe. I always forget which one is BL and which one is BL2 and BL3. Yeah, BL3 is between NU and RU, so BL2 is definitely the UU and RU one. Well, anyway, I guess we'll, we'll pause until we hear back from Super LP Bro, guys. We'll be right back. Yeah, all right, Period Bear taking the Statlin. They're still on the team right here. The team in my heart. Still waiting on Super LP, bro. I'm positive again. Yo, what up, guys? We're back. And I just hit that Zangus for a lot of damage. Uh, but I thought the close combat was coming. No, the Chopper Bear is not going to save me. Uh, we did finally hear back from Super LP, bro. I'm still waiting to hear from him again, though. Uh, but Dazzling Gleam is going to do some damage. And we're going to get rid of him. It's going to be nice. And uh, I wish I had quillfish in the middle, but I, I don't want to make it work. <clears throat> uh, let's see, you got a Marowak, easy. Bronzong, no problem, easy. It's definitely, it's definitely heat proof. Actually, it's probably heavy metal, if I was to be honest. It's gotta be. Um, uh, so I'm actually gonna double team the Marowak, because that thing is a threat. What did that thing do before? Sweet kiss. Oh god. Let me uh let me protect. Mr. Mom, you're useless to me right now. I actually just leave it to this bronze on if it's if it's anything but uh heavy metal. Oh get up out. Oh about to find out. Ah for some reason I thought I wouldn't hit him. I thought I would I don't know. I don't know. Oh, he's got me out to you. Let's see, let's see in this game. Alright, this new bond. Do I have Focus Sash? No, good. Uh, 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 um. Alright, we're calling this right now. Oh, we live. Oh, for some reason I thought Destiny Bond had priority. Love this goes down. That does zero. Earth power doesn't work. <laughs> Jar Ball takes out Mr. Mime. Almost. Almost. Electro Web. Thunder Wave. Oh, let's see. Alright, he's got something to do, and so we're finishing up this match. Oh, wait. I'm signal beam took out my stun fist. Are you kidding me? That's fine, that's fine, that's Mr. Mime versus Bronzong. Ah, all right, now yeah, Sick and Quillfish go down, and here we get the Dazzling Gleam. We get the Paralyzation as we get the Paralyzation. <laughs> all right. Uh huh. So we need ten Paralyzations, basically. We need a Crit Para. Citrus Berry. Gg gg gg.
Say it. Say GG to me. Why won't he say GG? Oh, there's the thing. G. G. <laughs> Okay, anyway, we got a battle here. Uh, oh, wait, I don't want to use this. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> What's this? Oh, it's Super LP Bro messaging me on Twitter. Uh, no problem. Only there. Let's do it. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, so he's got a Suicune. I did not realize he had a Suicune or a Medicham. Or a Chandelure or a Crawdon. Hold on. <laughs> he's also got a Registeel and a Latias. Did, was I looking at the wrong team? I could have been looking at the wrong team. It says here he's got a Latios. Registeel. I don't see any of these other Pokemon. He must have made some drops or something. Whatever, that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> I'm still gonna play. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> Eridon is here. Let's see what we can do. Cool thing is that rocks should help. Uh, also, cool thing is that Heliolus pretty much takes on um, Suicune, if especially if it's the rest talk set. Other cool thing is that uh, hip hop takes on things like Mega Cham, uh, Mega Cham of what's this thing called? Wrong team. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> had to be the wrong team. Is that I don't recognize any of those Pokemon. All right, we got a new battle. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, so finally we get to the real battle. That is exactly what I was expecting. <laughs> All right, that's more like it. So we got the Bisharp, the Registeel, the Mega Gyarados, uh, Spiritomb, Amoongus, and Latios. Okay, cool thing is that. Uh, other than the spirit tomb, potentially a hidden power fire from these two, and without a, a super buffed up Gyarados, <laughs> uh, those or should be able to take a lot of these things on fairly well. Also, Bortastic puts in a lot of work. Hell, let's lead off with this thing. Oh, yes. I don't know if I want to lock myself into Superpower, but I'm going for it. I don't want to take the recoil of Flare Blitz. And if he goes into Spirit Tomb here, then he's a god. <laughs> I could also see him going into Gyarados, getting the Intimidate, but I would, any amount of damage on that thing would be fantastic. So I'd be fine with that. Uh, plus, like, what can a Spirit Team really do to Embor anyway? And we get the first turn KO. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, so you can definitely go to. Spear Tomb here. So let's go Latios, that's fair. That's actually a pretty good play on my opponent's part. Um, gonna go Blizzor. Because I'm predicting the Psy Shock. Could also test for the Hidden Power Fire by going straight to Blizzor, then straight to Azumarill. Uh, see if he has Hidden Power Fire. Potentially. Uh, but I should be able to take a Psy Shock pretty well. As in, even Draco Meteor I'm not too worried about. This goes for Surf. Huh. That actually does a lot too. That could be Specs or something. 
which makes me want to just go for bug bite honestly I, I lose nothing by going for bug bite everything on his team takes a solid amount of damage as he goes a moongus that's fine with me as uh, that does a clean 44 percent which is and he's got the rocky helmet is he gonna put me to sleep or is he gonna hp fire that is the question this thing is kind of a threat I'm gonna roost to see what he does Spore. Alright, that's the lesser of two evils. Uh, I'm going to go straight into Embor now here, because I know Embor can take any hit. He's not going for a poison type move, because that would be silly. So let's go Gyarados here. Huh. That is an issue. But you know what? Unless, if, Even if he Dragon Dances here, I will outspeed him with my Choice Scarf on Heliolisk, so I'm going to do that. Because he, I feel like if he, he waterfall is really obvious right here, it would take on my Bortastic, and I do not want that to happen at all because Bortastic takes on a lot of his team members. Like I just click Flare Blitz late game and just win. Uh, so I'm definitely going to uh, Heliolisk here as he does Mega Evolve, does go for the Dragon Dance, and that's fine because I still outspeed. Man, if I had gone for Wild Charge there. <laughs> Uh, but I'm just going to click Thunderbolt here. It should do a nice amount of damage, if not KO. It doesn't quite pick up the KO as he does go for the Crunch and he completely KOs. Oh my god. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. This is an issue, this is an issue. Uh, Scizor takes this thing on though. Oh, right, I forgot I was asleep. <laughs> completely forgot I was asleep. We're gonna wake up. We're gonna wake up. We're gonna wake up. No, we're not. We have one. We haven't burned a turn of sleep yet, so we're guaranteed to sleep this turn. As uh, waterfall does a lot. Waterfall does a lot. Crap! If he dragon dances, that could be game. Let's see. Dragon is Crunch and Waterfall. Does he have Earthquake? Alright, I'm going straight into Azumarill here because I kind of have to. He goes for the Waterfall. Thankfully, we were able to eat that up. And uh, I think, do I go for Play Rough here? Or do I go for Aqua Jet? Is he going to switch and save this thing? Hmm. I knew this Gyarados would be a problem, uh, but thankfully I did get a nice chunk of damage off with Heliolisk, which is exactly why I needed that thing. Uh, fortunately, the rest of his team isn't that fast, but bar the Latios. Let me go ahead and ch see how much Aqua Jet will do to this thing. Soul Vest versus Mega Gyarados uh, Dragon Dance doesn't matter, probably the same set, right? Aqua Jet does not do enough. Uh, Waterfall Earthquake plus one. Earthquake is doing a max 72. I believe I'm. No, I'm not. So if he goes for Earthquake here, I might lose my zoom roll. But that's the risk we have to take. Stone Edge. Oh my lord. Ah. <laughs> Alright, Blizzor. Basically, Blizzor has to wake up or we lose. That's it. That's all it is. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Got swept by Mega Gyarados. Alright. Alright, maybe Hip Hop can live one. I doubt it, but maybe. Uh, gotta go for Earthquake. Ah, we live in hip hop. Hip hop coming through. Whew. If he's choice star of Latios, he still wins, though. <laughs> Man, that was brutal. Oh, that was brutal. I should have prepared more for that Mega Gyarados. Maybe put a Choice Specs on Heliolisk or something. Instead of the Choice Scarf. Maybe put the Choice Scarf on Noivern instead. I don't know. There's lots of things I could have done. Like, probably not let my Scissor go to sleep. 
All right, Bisharp's gonna come out. Uh, I'm just gonna slack off. So I don't want him to just sucker punch KO me. KO me. Like, hopefully he goes for sucker punch. Like, that would be awesome if he goes for sucker punch. But if I were him, I'd probably just go for knockoff because I know he, it, it does outspeed me. So no reason not to. Yeah, it was right for the knockoff. And I'm going to go straight into uh, Bortastic here. Just going to click Flare Blitz. Uh, pretty much kill something. Because he is Life Orb Bisharp as well, so he could go for the Sucker Punch here. If he feels so inclined. I'm hoping he goes Latios, because I would love to get damage on that thing. That would be fantastic to get a nice Flare Blitz choice banded. Reckless Flare Blitz on that. Like... That would be... Oh my god, that'd be nice. <laughs> that would basically put me back in the game if he goes Latios here. Uh, he could actually... It's not that weird to play if because he, he could predict the fighting type move here, but he, every other Pokemon he has switches into fighting type moves. So, Alright, he just has to go for the knockoff there. Knocks off my choice band. Uh, as I can just go for the Flare Blitz there. Okay, with the Bisharp. And uh, he can go Latios here. He can go Latios. He doesn't go Latios, though. Okay. So it comes down to this thing as Choice Scarf. It should. Because I'm pretty sure Noivern... <sighs> Spore, though. Noivern should take on Spiritomb. Should, or if, I, if I get the Flare Blitz off here, it'll take on the Spiritomb. If I get... Uh, it should be able to... I oh, hit the Amoogus pretty hard with the uh, Air Slash, especially since it's at 56. And uh, Draco Meteor should take out the Latios as long as it's not Choice Scarf. Uh, I'm just going to go for Flare Blitz, though. Oh my god, it almost dies. As he goes for the Confuse Ray. Okay. We're still in this. Confuse Ray is pretty much just like down to chance at this point. Now, do I want to go for the Iron Head and, and try to avoid the Recoil? There really is no point. Ah, we hit ourselves. Of course. <laughs> that must be nice. Uh, so what I do here is go into Mavis, and I gotta save my Draco for the Latios. Uh, just go for Air Slash here. Sucker Punch could definitely be coming my way. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. Alright, it isn't, and I take out the Spirit Tomb with an Air Slash. Yamoongus, depending on its spread, if it's specially defensive, it could probably li might live in Air Slash. I don't know. Noivern, OU oh, Life Orb versus Amoongus. Uh, or defensive... I have no idea if this is the set he's running. What does Air Slash do? Air Slash... Is 61. Let's see if he's max special defense. 252. Uh, Air Slash should still be doing enough. It all depends on his spread. It all depends on if he's... Oh, if he's... Choice Scarf. Ah, he is. <laughs> GG. Man, alright. That... Man. That uh, Mega Gyarados really wore put a number in on my team. Uh, but good match, Super LP, bro. That was a pretty great match. Uh, it came down to the wire despite that, uh, that Mega Gyarados setting up so much on my team. Uh, really shouldn't have let Scizor go to sleep. That really would have saved me. Let's see if uh, Bullet Punch would have done. Nah, I don't know. Uh, thanks for the battle. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> Like we're scheduled to battle. Uh, <laughs> no problem. Thanks to you too. Uh, but that's it for this Delta Battle League battle this week. If you want to see the Boston Weasels take on somebody next week, <laughs> make sure to tune in, tune in next week. Uh, that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you want to see the Boston Weasels go all the way to the crown, the Delta Battle League crown, hit the like button. Just give show your support. Subscribe for more Delta Battle League content all the time here at Daily Dreams. Well, not all the time, but every week. Uh, other than that, though, keep dreaming. I'll see you next time, and peace out.